Hello and welcome to our second lesson on our video series on learning SQL. Last uh, video we learned how to create our tables. This uh, video is going to cover how to alter a table after they've been created. So sometimes you want to add new columns, rename columns, remove columns, um, change constraints, etc. You would use uh, the alter table command and that's what we're going to cover today in this video okay so let's get started shall we as always here's my setup I'm using MySQL version 8.0.16 I use the command line to do everything or console window uh, up here is our existing database these are the four tables we have and right here is notepad um, this is where I type in all my SQL commands uh, use a pure text editor, okay? And as always, the um, all the concepts you learn here work across all relational databases. Uh, some of the commands or keywords, uh, sorry, the syntax might change, uh, but everything else remains the same for the relational databases. If I type or do something that's specific to MySQL, I will point it out, okay? But keep in mind the concepts work across all relational databases. Okay, let's get started here. Let's go to um, the MySQL command line. Let's show our databases. This is uh, specific to MySQL. This is the one I want to work with, grades. So let's use that. Again, MySQL specific, use grades, sets it as the default database. Now all the commands I type will be executed against this database. Let's work with this table here called grade. Let me uh, show the columns first of all from grade. Okay, so those are the columns we have right there. Okay, so let me show you how if you wanted to change the name of a column. So let's change this column here called final grade. Let's change it to um, final grade percent, okay? Okay, so the, the statement to modify a table after it's been created is alter table. So you type alter table. And you'll notice I type in my SQL commands or keywords in uppercase, but as I've mentioned before in other videos, SQL is not case sensitive. You can type it however you want. I'm just typing it in uppercase so you see see those uh, um, statements and keywords. Okay, and then you put the name of the table. So it's alter table, then the name of the table. So it's alter table, grade, and then the word is change. And you can put the word column if you want. It's optional. So you could just say change like that, or you can say change column. I'll just leave it as change column so you understand what we're working on. It reminds you. Okay. I put it on different lines, but again, my SQ, or sorry, SQL is not, doesn't care about the formatting. This is for readability only. Uh, you can type it all in one line. It does not matter. So you say change column. And then you put the name of the old column, final grade. And then you just put the new column name like that. And don't forget to put a delimiter at the end of every SQL statement. Now, this is going to cause an error in MySQL. Others relational database, this would work fine. But in MySQL, this is going to cause an error. Let's see what it is. So I want to execute that statement. It's an external script file called try.sql. So I'm going to use a command called source. That's MySQL specific that loads an external um, script file. If you're in Oracle, you'd use that at symbol instead of the word source. Uh, if you're in a SQL server, you would uh, use a couple of words to like commands to do it. Um, so etemp, so the path, etemp and then the name of the file, try.sql. So I execute that and I get a syntax error. Now technically I don't believe this is being a syntax error, it's a more of a uh, improper uh, form, um, improper um, structure. In, in um, MySQL, when you change a column name, 
you can't just change the column name. You also have to supply all the original constraints that go with that original column. So this one was a decimal 52 or a numeric 52. Uh, nulls were allowed and that's it. So all I have to do is put the data type to go with this one. So I'm going to put it back to where it was. And again, if you don't understand the numeric um, or the data type, watch the first video. So it was a numeric 52, the precision and scale. So now I'm OK. And I run it and it it goes. Now let's show those columns. Show columns from grade. Yes, you can use describe grade. There it is. There's the new name of the uh, column. Okay, so that's how you uh, you change the name of a column with SQL. You use the keyword change with the alter table statement. Okay, so so now let's change. Um, the column definition. So I'm going to change some constraints that go with this. So what I would like to do is uh, make this a not null. So I want to make this a required value. I want someone to actually put a number in. And I want to set a default value of zero. So I want if no one supplies a value, the computer will supply the value and make it a zero. So now all you have to do, this is a great advantage of using a script file. I don't have to retype everything again. If I did it at the command line, it it's, looks ugly and it's hard to troubleshoot and everything. So here, instead of change column, when you want to just change the um, um, uh, constraints and stuff or column definition, just modify. So we're going to modify the column now. I don't want to rename it, so I can take out the old name of the thing. So there's the new name of the um, the existing name of the column. So modify column, final grade. I'll make it a 5-2. I also would like it unsigned. Let's make it unsigned, so only positive numbers are allowed. That's my SQL specific. We'll do a not null. Not null, as you recall from the first video, means you must supply a value. And if you don't, we're going to let the computer supply a value of 0. So the default is 0. Now I can save that. Go back to my SQL. And notice here, really fast, I'm not a fast typer. I'm just using the up, down arrow keys in my SQL to scroll through the keyboard buffer. So I get my old statement source. I run it, and it's there. Let's uh, show those columns and see what's changed. Now it's unsigned. Nulls are required, or sorry, no nulls are allowed, and uh, the default value is now zero. So to change existing constraints, or change the constraints on an existing column, you use the keyword modify. Okay? Now what if you wanted to add a new column? Well, pretty simple. Instead of modify, you change that keyword to add. Okay? So then let's take out this information. What's the name of the new column? Well, we're going to put final grade letter. Okay, we're going to make that a character two. Okay, that's their data type. We're going to make it not null. And we're going to set a default value of F for failure. So again, because it's a character type data type, the literal the data has to be enclosed in quotation marks, single quotation marks, okay? Okay, add column, great. And again, as always, the word column is optional. Let's save that. Let's go back to my SQL, run it. It works, let's show the columns. Now I have a new column called uh, final grade letter. It's a character two, null is not allowed, default is F, okay? Now let's add another column just for um, so I can delete it. Okay, so let's uh, show you how to delete a column. First, let's add a add a column. We'll just call it test column, and just make it a character five because it's not going to be there long. And that's it. That's all we need. Let's save that. Go back to my SQL, source it. You'll see it's there. There's the test column. Okay, so let's uh, remove it. Now, to remove a, a database object in SQL, 
it's not delete it's drop if I want to drop something or remove something like a database object and a column is an object you use the word drop if you want to drop a table you drop or remove a table you use drop table drop constraint you know it's always a drop uh, don't use the word delete delete is to remove data not objects so alter table grade drop column and we'll say uh, you don't need the uh, the constraint you just need the table or column name okay we'll uh, source that and then show our columns and now it's gone again okay so pretty straightforward uh, drop keyword is to drop a column the add keyword is used to add a new column the keyword modify is to change the existing or add new constraints to the column definition and the word change is used to rename a column okay and that's it sweet short and sweet uh, video um, if you like it please click on the like and if you would like to subscribe to the channel appreciate that and if you want to be notified of any new videos hit the bell icon okay great thanks guys have a great day and take care